And welcome to another podcast series. I'm Mr. V for Mr. V's World on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your comments. Let's get it rolling today. On my program, I will be discussing with you why we are confused in America. This is a large topic. And as we all know, America is, well... It's down for the count for, uh, right now, I believe. And I think that uh, financially we are hurting. Obviously, our job market sucks. People are going insane, doing crazy things. Uh, lots and lots and lots of weird crimes and murders happening. And it's just gotten to the point where you're questioning, is Armageddon around the corner? Or are we just uh, waiting, tick-tocking, tick-tock, tick-tocking till uh, 2012, December the 21st hits and then we'll get our answer I don't know but let's get it out there and let's talk about it one thing I'd like to say is the state of affairs in America regarding male female relationships as I do discuss quite frequently on my show uh, here at Mr. V's World I believe the topic of love and commitment is a complete lost art form on most Americans right now and this generation uh, 30 and below, especially, and then in the Generation X um, uh, generation, my generation, I'm 46, by the way, we also are doing pretty poorly in that, that area. And I think the reason for this lack of love and commitment in our society in America right now in 2012 is it's just too much garbage out there taking our viewpoints uh, away from, you know, our, if I can say this, internal compass. Well, what does that mean? It means we just don't value love and commitment because it's just a throwaway. Marriage is a joke. Relationships are a joke. Being boyfriend and girlfriend is a joke. Uh, even conversing with one another is a joke because we don't do it in person. We do it via text. So I think we have lost our way and people are very very confused at what they should be doing or what they see themselves doing regarding relationships and uh, it's it's terrible I, I bring this up in part because I'm out of the country and I'll get to my other three points in a moment why uh, America is, is, is as confused as it is but what I'm getting at is uh, for the last year I've been abroad I'm still abroad as I'm broadcasting this and I see other types of people relating from other countries and other nations and they don't seem to have this heavy fogged uh, viewpoint on themselves and others I'm not saying that they are better than us I'm just saying it's a different point of view and different perspective it just seems like uh, people take out more time to talk and share their feelings. For instance, I'll give you a quick story. This will take about 30 seconds. I was talking to a French girl about 24 years old. She, she's 24. And I know her pretty well, or well enough. Anyway, I asked her, I said, hey, it's your birthday, I heard. And she said, yeah, it was my birthday uh, day before yesterday. I said, well, what did you do on your birthday? She said, oh, well... I uh, had lunch, blah de blah, something, something, and uh, I talked to some friends. I went home and I pretty much cried. And I said, "Why would you cry on your birthday?" She said, ah, "I just, I just feel lonely," you know, in her French accent. That's not a French accent, but she said, "I just, I was, I'm feeling lonely." And she's a pretty girl and she's vivacious and lively and attractive and nice figure and everything, but she just got to the crux of her problem and said it straight off the cuff. And I think that's something we Americans would not face up for ourselves, let alone share it with someone else. So what I'm getting at is the honesty and the purity um, I see around me uh, with people who are traveling from other nations and how they handle themselves is completely different from we Americans. We're so uh, suppressed uh, with our lives. We're suppressed in our sexuality sometimes. We're suppressed in, uh, in relating to one another on a substantial level. So love and commitment is something that's a lost art form. We need to talk about it at least I don't know if it could be solved in you know in a short period of time moving forward uh, another thing I, one of my notes we we have this me me uh, attitude you know it's it's like and also we have a limited view of the world on the whole we don't realize there's a great big world outside of the United States so we're very insular in our in our mindset and you know 
West Coast is different from the East Coast, and the South is different from the North and the Midwest, and you were going to have our little pockets of differences, but however, I think we're all fundamentally the same as Americans. We're this young nation, and uh, we, ha we have evolved to some degree, but this me, me, me attitude is something that I think is a resurgence from the 70s, and anyone who is at least 45 to 55 years old real can remember when that me me attitude thanks to our parents divorcing which is the cause of that they were only worried about themselves concerned about themselves and in the 80s and the 90s that kind of went away especially in the 90s we had this apathetic viewpoint in life you know the term whatever as a euphemism for you know whatever <laughs> became very popular and there's a reason for that you know and uh, getting to the current situation, state of affairs, this um, me, me, me uh, attitude just, it's come back around. I don't know why, but um, it is here, and we should uh, take a look at that. I think at one point when we had 9-11 occur, for a short, brief period of time, we came together. It was not about me, me, me. It was about us, 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 together. But now it's gotten back to me, 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 which brings me to my next point. We have too much pressure to be rich and financially um, accelerated, okay? Meaning, everybody wants to be rich, but nobody wants to work hard for it, except for a few entrepreneurs. And they seem to get rich overnight for some reason. What I'm saying with this is, we bite off more than we can handle financially. We want a new car every two years. we got to upgrade the house every five years. We wear clothes that are very expensive, uh, some of us do, so we can appear to be successful. When in, you know, the fact of the matter is we're not as successful as we want to have others perceive us. And it comes at a great, great, great price tag. Okay? We get in debt, and then we can't pay the debt. Your credit goes down further. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses, and you realize that Gucci bag or that Fendi, you know, uh, belt just doesn't really make you happy. Which uh, segues into one more point I'd like to say. This is why we are confused in America. We are just not happy. We can't find happiness. We can't find happiness, and in my opinion, it's because we do not make enough free time to think and process for ourselves. We spend too much time worrying about bullshit, American Idol, uh, stuff that's going on the internet, and tweeting shit and figuring out if Kim Kardashian's going to stay together with Kanye West. Like, who gives a rat's ass? I mean, who gives a rat's hairy ass about that stuff? However, if you notice, when you go to Yahoo.com, for those of you who still go to Yahoo.com, think about this. What is the first thing you see when you click on www.yahoo.com? You just get inundated with a barrage of garbage information okay think about it why is it on the front page of Yahoo is a story about a woman who tans herself and her nine-year-old kid who freaking cares I don't want to see a white lady who looks like a freaking pumpkin you know, that's who wants to see that? But it's front page news on yahoo.com, which means millions of you guys are going to see it and millions of you guys are going to click on the button and waste five minutes of your lifetime reading about this garbage. And then this person goes on to be lampooned on Saturday Night Live, which means she's now infamously famous. For what again? Oh. That's right, for tanning. Give me a frickin' break. Go somewhere else in the world. India, France, Holland, Turkey, Thailand. And you tell me if those countries, mainstream media, which is far better than ours, if they bother even covering that type of story or giving it that much free airtime. This is what the problem is with America. We just don't think for ourselves. 
we follow the media, we process things like at a minimal, our attention span is that of a dying dog on its last breath after running four miles around the corner. That didn't make any sense, did it? Well, anyway, that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm losing track of what I'm saying because my attention span... Uh, what was I saying again? Oh, it uh, doesn't matter. America's confused. This is Mr. V from Mr. V's World on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Make a comment. Always listen because there's always something to say on my show. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.